Lesson 12.2, Customary Units of Length. We can use models to compare customary units of length by using inch tiles, a table, or fraction strips. We can show the relationship between the units that are being compared. We can use a ruler to measure length. A ruler that is one foot long shows 12 inches in one foot. A ruler that is three feet long is called a yardstick, and there are three feet in a yardstick. Since there are 12 inches in one foot, and three feet are in one yard, we can find how many inches are in one yard. One foot is equal to 12 inches, and three feet is equal to one yard. We multiply three times the 12 inches, because 12 inches is one foot, we need three of them, it will equal one yard. 36 inches is equal to one yard. How does the size of a foot compare to the size of an inch? Each square is one inch in size. We have 12 of them, that would be one foot. And here we have one inch. One foot is 12 times as long as one inch. We can make a table that relates feet and inches to compare them to each other. One foot is 12 inches. We're doing one times 12. Two feet, that would be two sets of 12 inches. Two times 12, that's 24 inches. 3 feet would be 36 inches, that's 3 times 12, and so on. An IN period is the abbreviation for inches. An FT period is the abbreviation for feet. Sophia has 3 feet of ribbon. She needs 30 inches of ribbon to decorate a birthday card for her grandfather. Does Sophia have enough ribbon? Well, think. We need to compare 3 feet to 30 inches. And we can convert, that means change, the three feet to inches to compare them. We can't compare feet to inches, so we need to have feet to feet or inches to inches. We have three feet, and we know there's 12 inches in each foot, so we multiply the three times 12. That's equal to 36 inches. We know she only needs 30 inches, and 36 inches is greater than 30 inches, so yes, she does have enough. There are 1,760 yards in one mile. So how many yards are in two miles? We can use repeated addition or multiplication to solve. If 1,760 is one mile, we can just add 1,760 plus 1,760. We get 3,520 yards in two miles. We could also use multiplication. We start by multiplying the two to the zero, that's zero. Two times six is 12. We regroup the one and put the two down here underneath the six. Then we do two times seven, which is 14, plus the one more is 15. We regroup the one, put the five down. Then we do two times one, which is two, plus one more is three. And using repeated addition or multiplication, we get 3,520 yards. There are three feet in one yard. And there are 1,760 yards in one mile. So how many feet are in one mile? Because each of these yards is equal to three feet, we can use repeated addition and do 1,760 plus 1,760 plus 1,760 to find the feet in a mile, or we could multiply 1,760 times 3. We get 5,280 feet. And we could make a table showing 1 yard is 3 feet, 2 yards is 6 feet, 3 yards is 9 feet, and so on until we get to 1,760. But boy, that would take forever. We could just know that three of these would be the number of feet in a yard and the number of feet in a mile. We can just use repeated addition 
to add it three times because there's three feet in one yard to find how many feet are in a mile. And YD period is the abbreviation for yard and MI period is the abbreviation for mile. We need to compare the measures using the symbols less than, greater than, or equal to. We think we need to compare inches to inches, feet to feet, and yards to yards. We need to compare two feet to 20 inches. So it's easier to change this into inches than it is to change this into feet because this wouldn't be an even amount of feet. There's 12 inches in one foot. There's 24 inches in two feet. We would multiply two feet times 12 inches in each foot, that's 24 inches. Now we can easily see that 24 inches is greater than 20 inches. So we know two feet is greater than 20 inches. Here we have three feet compared to 36 inches. We know there's 12 inches in each foot, so we can use multiplication. Three feet times 12 inches in each foot, that's 36 inches. And 36 inches is equal to 36 inches. Here we have two yards compared to eight feet. So we need to change this into feet. We know there's three feet in each yard, so we can multiply two times three. Now we can easily see that six feet is less than eight feet. So two yards is less than eight feet. Here we have four yards and 12 feet. We need to change the yards into feet or the feet into yards. We know there's three feet in each yard, so we can multiply four times three. Now we can compare 12 feet to 12 feet. They're equal. So four yards is equal to 12 feet. Bob has two yards of ribbon and he needs 60 inches of ribbon to make a tail for his kite. Does he have enough ribbon to make the tail? Well, he has two yards and to compare measurements, they need to be the same increments, inches to inches, feet to feet, yards to yards, and one foot is equal to 12 inches and there are three feet in a yard. He has two yards, he needs 60 inches. If we multiply 12 inches times three, it's equal to 36 inches in one yard. 12 inches is a foot, there's three feet in a yard, so we do 12 times three, that's 36 inches in one yard. He has two yards, so we multiply 36 inches times two. Two times six is 12. We regroup the one and put the two down. Two times three is six plus one more is seven. That means if he has two yards, he has 72 inches of ribbon. And 72 inches is greater than 60 inches, so Bob has enough ribbon. We can use fraction strips to compare the size of one foot to the size of one inch. Because there are 12 inches in one foot, one inch is one twelfth of a foot. An inch is one of 12 equal parts of a foot. Because there are three feet in one yard, one foot is one third of a yard. A foot is one of three equal parts of a yard. So it might be a good idea to take this part of the video as notes. So this is for converting measures. If we need to change feet to inches, we multiply the feet by 12 because there's 12 inches in each foot. Two feet times 12 is equal to 24 inches. We changed feet to inches. To change inches to feet, we divide the inches by 12 because there's 12 inches in each foot. If we have 24 inches and we divide it by the 12 inches in each foot, we get two feet. We changed inches into feet. To change yards to feet, we multiply the yards by three. 
two yards times three feet in each yard is equal to six feet. We changed yards to feet by multiplying it by three. And to change feet to yards, we divide the feet by three. Six feet divided by three feet in each yard is equal to two yards. And to change yards to inches, we multiply the yards by 36 because there's 36 inches in one yard. If we have two yards and we need to change it to inches, we multiply it by 36. That's equal to 72 inches. We changed the two yards into inches. If we want to change inches to yards, we divide the inches by 36 because there's 36 inches in a yard. If we have 72 inches, and we need to change it into yards, we divide it by 36, it's equal to two yards. To compare measurements, we need to compare inches to inches, feet to feet, yards to yards, and so on. So we convert, that means change, the measures so they are the same before comparing them. If we need to compare 26 inches to two feet, we, we change the two feet into inches. There's 12 inches and a foot. We have two feet, so we have 12 times two, that's 24. We can see 26 inches is greater than 24 inches. We know 26 inches is greater than two feet. So be careful when there are two different measuring increments. We need to change them so that they are the same to be able to compare them. So if you can memorize how many inches are in a foot, and how many feet are in a yard, and how many yards or feet are in a mile, that's going to help you go faster in your math. Our next lesson, 12.3, we're going to use models to compare customary units of weight. I hope you're doing well. Keep trying, and I'll see you next time. Bye.